Hi students, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandaru, plus educator in an academy. Students, in this power systems through topic wise MCQ series, we have already completed four sessions. It is the fifth one. If you want previous, you can just click on the playlist and you can find out the previous. And in these topics, we have completed this generation based questions. After that, we have started economics. In that also, the basics of the economics, I mean factors completed and we enter into the numericals. Numericals are very, very important. Okay. So the relation. So one numerical also completed load factor average load by maximum load and coming to the next question. An industrial consumer has a daily load pattern of 2000 kilowatt. 0 0.8 power factor lagging for 12 hours, 1000 kilowatt for 12 hours, then what about the load factor? We know very well load factor. Students, all of you try yourself. After that, check with my answer. And what is the formula I have given? It is very easy to remember. Load factor always associated with load and it is less than 1. So average load is in the numerator maximum load in the denominator average load in the sense number of units generated or number of units consumed or consumed for a specified time specified time period by maximum load okay so how many units generated here already kilowatt given so no need to take the power factor okay if they have given kva then we have to take the power factor so 2000 kilowatts for 12 hours and 1000 kilowatts for 12 hours so then total number of units generated are nothing but 2000 into 12 hours plus 1000 into 12 hours this is the total units generated by time particular time means 12 plus 12 24 hours they have given daily now we have to take 24 by maximum load here they have not mentioned but we can get idea now 2000 thousand in this which is the maximum 2000 now so we can take 2000 if they have not given also we can get the idea okay then what is the answer you are getting guys 12 12 twos 3000 by 2, 1500, 1500 by 2000, 5, 3, 5, 4, 3 by 4, that is nothing but 75 percent, 0 0.75. So the answer is option C. I think you also got the same answer, 0 0.75. These are the very good practice questions, guys. Okay, so in the previous session, I have given the formulas. If you have not watched, Try to watch that one by click on the playlist. Okay. Coming to the next one. And students, it is very difficult to get topic wise MCQs. You can get here. Okay. So if you want to do anything, you can please share to all your friends. Then it will be helpful for the so many students. Okay. A generating station supplies the following loads 15,000 kilowatt, 12,000, 8500, 6000, 450. The station has maximum demand of double to triple zero kilowatt. Calculate the diversity factor. Calculate the diversity factor. We know very well diversity factor is equal to sum of maximum loads by maximum load of the system maximum load of system A maximum load of the system so sum of the loads is nothing but 15000 plus 12000 plus 8500 plus 6000 plus 450 by here 22,000 okay so if you calculate then what is the value we will get 15 to 1 27 27 
8 35500 35500 41500 41500 plus 450 so you will get 41 950 so 41950 by 22000 that means you will get approximately less than 2 that is 1.9 okay and one more thing guys small trick is nothing but generally this diversity factor is always greater than one we have to eliminate the option which are less than one so we can eliminate these three now so we can directly give the answer as option a without calculation but if they have given all are more than one then we have to calculate only so that's why i am giving both the methods okay in the previous also in the previous also they are asking the load factor they are asking the load factor. So load factor is always less than 1. So more than 1 is cancelled. 1.5 is cancelled. And it is not this much of less. So we can go for the option C directly. Okay. But better to calculate and give the answer. Coming to the next one. The connected load of a consumer is 2 kilowatt. And maximum demand is 1.5 kilowatt. The demand factor of the consumer is dash. Demand factor, very, very important. Demand factor is equal to, we know, maximum demand by connected load. By connected load. So, what is the maximum demand here? 1.5 kilowatt. Connected load is 2 kilowatt. So that is nothing but we can say 0 0.75. Okay, 0 0.75. That means it is also less than 1. It is also less than 1. So the answer is option C. Coming to the next one. The knowledge of diversity factor helps in computing dash. Diversity factor is equal to sum of the sum of maximum loads by maximum load of system okay so that means diverse if you know the diversity factor you can find out the maximum load of the system or maximum demand of the system and we know very well as the diversity factor is high then maximum load or maximum demand is less then you can go for installed capacity is less then fixed cost is reduces fixed cost is reduces we have already discussed this okay so here helps in computing maximum demand coming to the next two. The diversity factor of the system is high, which cost of the system reduces. Just now I have given now, as diversity factor is more, maximum demand is less. As the maximum demand is less, then installed capacity is less, then fixed cost is less. Fixed cost is less. Okay. So reduces the fixed cost. Answer the option C. Coming to the next one. If the load factor of the system is high, which cost of the system is reduced? This one also we have discussed now. Load factor is equal to average load by maximum load. So, as the load factor is high, it generates more units. Average load is more. More units are generated. More units are generated or more units are consumed means operating cost is less. Operating cost is less. For the same operating cost, if you generate more units means that is advantage. So, operating cost is less. So, running cost or operating cost and fixed and initial both are same okay coming to the next one in a system if the base load is 
same as the maximum demand the load factor will be dash the load factor will be dash we know very well the load factor formula average load by maximum okay and we know very well this average load is equal to average load is nothing but we can say base load base load so both are same means you will get one so the answer is option one answer is option one. coming to the next one the daily energy produced in a thermal power station is 720 megawatt hour at a load power factor load factor of 0 0.6 what is the maximum demand of the system what is the maximum demand of the station so same formula guys nothing in this come on calculate load factor they are asking they have given is equal to average load by maximum load so load factor 0 0.6 what is the average load daily and the energy generated is nothing but 720 megawatt hour by the term daily means number of hours are 24 by maximum load 24 once 24 is 0 so 30 you will get so maximum load is equal to 30 by 0 0.6 300 by 6 50 so the answer is option a 50 so the answer is option a 50. okay coming to the next question guys the maximum demand of a consumer is 2 kilowatt and the corresponding daily energy consumption is 30 units. What is the corresponding load factor? What is the corresponding load factor? So we know very well load factor. So how many times we have done average load by maximum load. Okay so average load number of units consumed by daily na daily means 24 by maximum load 2 kilowatt so 30 by 48 5 by 8 so 5 by 8 means 62.5 so the answer is option 62.5 so the answer is option okay Okay, students, we will discuss the remaining in the next session. If you have not watched the previous, click on the playlist and you can find out the previous. And if you want to download this topic wise MCQs, you can visit the sunilengineeringacademy.com. In this, you can also get other electrical subjects, the handwritten notes, and also the MCQs like this topic wise MCQs. Okay, so just uh, open sunilengineeringacademy.com okay in this under ssc j and state a examinations you can find out electrical pdf if you click on the pdf and you after that for example power systems notes if you want power systems notes you can click on add to cart and if you want power systems mcqs 300 mcqs you can add to the cart okay and then after that go for the go to the cart and check out okay and log in with your credentials after that after all the after completion of the successful uh, Thing, then you have to click on my account and then click on downloads then you can find out your PDF so click on my orders downloads then you can get your PDF notes and you can download okay and you can also follow me in an academy app okay so if you open an academy.com or you can download the an academy app from play store and you can search with my name 
you can search with my name sunil kumar bandaru you can get my profile in my profile you can get all the plus courses details okay so what are the plus courses are going on and any upcoming courses okay and special classes are nothing but free live classes you can also watch this free live classes if you are first time watching you need to enter the referral code that is sunil sir ssc okay i will do the referral code in the description box also i will give don't worry so this is my referral code sunil sir ssc okay you can use this referral code to unlock the free content and to get the plus subscription open an academy app select your goal as ssc jn state a examination select the number of months enter the referral code sunil sir ssc then you will get instant discount and then go for the subscription after that you will get access to all the plus courses okay so this is my referral code sunil sir ssc okay students we will discuss the remaining in the next session and also all of you please share this information to all your friends okay thank you so much for watching take care bye guys